we're going to be creating a glass shrimp. To start this pattern, we'll grab some white UTC and secure that to our hook shank. Here we'll be using a special curved hook made by Anthrax. Snip your excess thread free and continue wrapping into the bend of the hook. We'll then grab some white craft fur, select a small pinch and secure it to the back of the fly. We'll then snip the excess free, secure it down, and grab a pair of monofilament eyes. Here I've painted the ends black, securing it tightly to the back of the fly. We will then select about four strands of pearl or white flashaboo. Secure it to either side of our fly and snip the excess free, leaving it about as long as our hook shank. We will then grab some pearl angel hair and secure this just above our craft fur. This will add a little bit of flash and texture to our pattern. You can use your scissors to trim it down. And once happy, snip the excess free. We will then grab some white silicone legs and secure this to each side of our hook. Once complete, snip the excess free and trim the legs to length. To create a bend in our legs, simply add one overhand knot, pull it tight, and this will give it a leg-like appearance. Secure the silicone leg to the other side, and trim it to length. We will then grab some UV Estaz in white, secure this to the back of the fly, bringing our thread forward. Begin wrapping the Estaz up the body in closed spirals. Secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. For the back of our fly, we will use a piece of thin skin trimmed to shape. Secure to the back of the fly and then use another small piece of thin skin to simulate a tail, securing it over the hook eye. With this complete, we can whip finish and snip our thread free, folding over our thin skin and reattaching our thread at the head of the fly. Snip the excess free and fold over your thin skin to secure it in place, being careful not to trap any fibers in the process. One way to prevent trapping fibers is to move your thread back and forth to prevent from trapping any underneath. Continue securing the thin skin and create a ribbing until we reach the head of the fly. We will whip finish, holding everything in place and snipping our thread free. Brush out any trapped fibers and trim the estaz to length. Next, we will grab some UV resin. This one in particular is my favorite. Begin adding the UV resin in small layers over the back of our fly and securing it with a UV light. And we will continue adding layers until we are happy with the final product. And this is a realistic shrimp pattern. It can be tied in a variety of colors and has a lifelike appearance in the water. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.